What is up realists? Welcome to On The Real Fishing today. We find ourselves on the bank here. I got a little buoy chilling with me for some reason. Not sure why it's up here. Probably because the water is high today, but the clouds are gray, overcast. Kind of day I like to go fish. So that way the sun doesn't get us and the temperature feels just about right. So we're gonna get out here, use a bunch of stuff, just hanging out today as always, trying to catch some fish. Hopefully we get three, maybe we get more, who knows. Thank you guys so much for dropping in. Make sure you like and subscribe. See more cool stuff here from On The Reel Fishing. But right now, we're gonna go get on the reel. Go try to catch some fish. Get this out of the way. We'll probably use that later on if it gets too much of a struggle. Right now, I wanna start off with trying to detangle my mess here. <laughs> we're gonna start off with a little itty bitty micro one here. I just wanna get a catch out of the way break the skunk off real quick try not to hit the tree Let's see if we can get over here in this little pocket oh a couple of nibbles there no takers though but like I said we did have a couple of nibbles so I'm gonna fall a little more no the water is up but it is not shot it is not high back here. This place I haven't been for a little bit. Nice little hidden way cove. Big old fish right there. Oh man, I don't think I brought the right stuff today. It's okay though. We'll find what we can find. This water's pretty stained. I may have to put on something a little bit brighter. To be able to get them attention, especially with the clouds being overhead. But we'll see. Oh, there we go. Right out there at the edge where we get. Oh, yeah. Interesting. I've wondered about there being these guys back here. But, itty bitty crappie. First catch of the day. This guy's out there. I wonder how many more are hiding out there. All right, see you, buddy. Of course, I'm breaking the rule because normally you just don't go right back where you just cast. Especially if you missed. Oh, there's something else just bit. All right, so inside this little edge here. I'm, what I'm standing on right now is actually a drain going this way. So, no telling what's going to be hanging out here. Waiting for stuff to feed in. Also, like I said, it could rain at any minute too, so... All right, then I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit. Got some of those, these are little Bobby Garland Itty Bit Jig Head. Bobby Garland Itty Bit, uh, I don't know which one these are. But like I said, we got one on this guy already. So, I know it works. But I think I'm gonna brighten it up a little bit and go with the, the Lights Out Slab Hunter here. A little bit more color to the black will help. And then the chartreuse will help. Now with it being crappie, that look like they might be here. It's gonna be weird because they like to attack from the bottom. I think a black would be better there, but. That's not what I got. Alrighty, got a little slab hunter set up here. Let's see if we can get something on the first cast. Trying to let it sink for about five seconds. But being so small, it's not gonna be sinking too terribly fast. Oh, I had a good, good bite there. Just didn't want to set the hook in case it was a, yeah, in case it was a crappie. There we go. Look at this time. Oh yeah, another one. They're kind of hanging out right here, looks like. A little bit bigger than the first one. Ow, ow. 
There we go. Oh, come on, man. Let me show you off. There we go. Another crappie there. Very cool. All right, buddy. Thank you for biting. All right. I just want to see just how many fish I can catch on different stuff today. Let's do it. Let's change it up. We got a little Creek Life Lure Stonefly here. It's pretty beat up, but I bet you we can get it on here and still catch a fish with it. Let's see what happens. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Another size up. Man, yeah, just found some nice little crappie hole. I'll take it for the day. It'll be fun. Oh, yes, this is a magnolia one. It's got that black stripe down there. Love these guys. I used, I used to always hear these guys were rare until I started watching YouTube and started fishing. But can quite out not a huge guy he's got that beautiful little black stripe down there cool well, we already caught another one so on to the next bait <laughs> if you guys like bait making you should watch marlin baits it's on here he makes a bunch of uh handmade stuff a lot of custom crazy stuff but yep, we're gonna switch up and do another one that's three three different baits all in the same rod i may not even have to bust into my other stuff i brought today all right let me switch up and figure out what i want to do next here we go with another Creek Life lure with a little Helgramite. Piece its little head off so that I can get a little bit better distance in with the, the jig head. So the only thing about those little Helgramites from Creek Life is they're, they're very thin. Oh, I had some bites on the way up. Probably more from bluegill and stuff. That's what it felt like. But... <laughs> I'll keep throwing the same spot up there and keep biting on this trail in. There we go. Got another one. <laughs> this one wasn't ready. This one wasn't ready. <laughs> Fourth. Crappie. Ow, 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 ow. A little creek life lure. These guys are Getting a little bit bigger every time it seems. There we go, number four. Now, what are we gonna switch to next? Who knows? Let's see, let's get in the bag and figure that out. All right, so switched up to the red Creek Life Lure Micro Beaver. Let's see if we can find anything. Just had a splash over here. I was gonna try to see if I could get that thing's attention. There we go, put something out there. We we'll get first fish. <laughs> I'll say first fish not from this little cove, but look what it is. It's still a crappie. Oh man. Put a little bitty crappie guy here. Awesome. See you, buddy. Five fish, five lures. They don't care what the profile is today, they're just hungry. All right, well, guess we're on to another one. All right, next up on the docket is a little uh, slider, little swim bait thing. I'll try it for a little bit and see what's up. I'm gonna lose count of how many fish we're catching on today. Uh-oh, through the tree. Not bad through the tree though, I think, hopefully not. That's what I was worried about. The residual bounce back. Yeah, tree bad and gay. <laughs> All right, got to retie there. See you back in a little bit. All right, we're back tied on with the crappie slider again. Kept the same jig head. I was debating on making it a little heavier so it would fall faster, but nah. We've had success with what we've got, so we'll keep at it. We might have found our first uh, snow catch, but we did get some bites on it already, so maybe we should be able to catch something. I'm kind of getting used to catching them on like the second or third cast. 
Oh, look. Look, what is that? It's a blobfish. <clears throat> Maybe there's a couple more casts, and we might be switching to that with our first uh, no catcher. Well, this will give us a little couple nibbles, but no bites. So we're going to move on to something else. There we go. A little bit of Euro tackle bug looking thing. Back out to the spots we've been getting bites so far. Another good bite. All right, I'm going to maybe shift it over here. I don't think the bite has died. I still see stuff swimming around. I just think I've lost where they're hiding. <laughs> now I'm going to put this guy away. We're going to move up. See if we can get a little bit bigger stuff. And some moving baits. And if that doesn't work, then we will move to live worms for a little bit. There we go. Got one on the Z-Man. What do we get out there? And tied up again? Yep, on the buoy. There we go. Got them off. There we go. Got one on the black and chartreuse. Well, he decided to self-release. So the fish quit. Alrighty, there we go. Another one on the Z-Man. Got out there. Silly fish. Okay, seems like they're still kind of out that way. Hey, wait a minute. I caught one on this. I gotta switch it up. <laughs> I was gonna keep going. <laughs> Alright, I'm switching over to a tickler here. The Z Man little tickler. I'm not sure what I can get. I'm gonna crop you on this. That'll be funny. But these are more of a let it fall, bounce it on the bottom kind of thing, I feel like. <laughs> Back up here in the trees, maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put these guys on hold for a little bit while this little shower passes through. And then we might, we're going to switch over to some live worms here, because I can cast those from back here. And I can see if I'm getting bit. We've got a big juicy worm. For some reason, though. My uh, wormies aren't doing good. Time to switch up sides. All right. There we go. The first one from over there on the worm. It's pretty decent something, I think. Oh yeah, definitely not a crappie. Go with some live worms. Gonna find some other panfish. Got our first non-crappie for the day. <laughs> nice little bluegill there. Oh, and a live worm. Sweet. See you, bud. All right, I want to just let this dangle do right here. See what happens to it. I'll get back to trying to catch something with a tickler. Maybe we'll catch something else with that while it's just dangling. got them. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> we got one on it. I was like, is that moving? Is it moving? He had already got it slurped all the way down. Nice. There we go. Oh, little boogie. Oh, see you, buddy. All right. There's another one. Another one bites the dust. All right. Next up is one of my favorites. The good old toad colored Helgramite green on top, kind of an orangey chartreuse wannabe kind of thing on the bottom. All right, let's see if we can it takes us to catch them. It feels like they've slowed down a bit, but maybe because I've gone to a larger profile, 
Maybe I'm just not throwing what they want right now. So, I got a fish on here, I think. Nope. Just the water flow change, which is good. It was pulling straight out though, so. So where the most of the catches I've gotten have come from, just over here under the tree. I'm not sure what it is about over here that has everybody excited, but we're gonna keep going over there if they're gonna keep biting over there. I keep trying to mix it up, but. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> That's funny. I just dropped it down there, just kind of goofing around, and sure enough, one was in there. A little hugger mite, another little crappie. Man, it's been crappie after crappie back here. They keep, they keep running through. Tell you what, if you have any arguments on uh, what'll catch crappie. Here's your big old list right here. <laughs> I'm gonna do a rundown when I get done and just show what all I caught on crappie today. All right, we'll be right back with another lure. I guess we're gonna do a mule fishing jig or mule fishing uh, horse fly. A little red guy here. Uh-oh. Aw. Nope, broke off. Try to throw it in the trees. All right, we're gonna retie up and keep going. Retie it up, but instead of putting back on the other one, I put them on one of the Donkey Tail Juniors, a different jig head. Oh man. Waited so long to get a hit on that, and then it finally gets one like the last second. <laughs> there we go. Got one over there. What do we get? There we go, another bluegill. Nice big old fat bluegill. Come back over there. There we go, see you bluegill. All right, another one down. I right, went to another creek life lure, a little itty bitty micro crawl here. Let's see if we can get anything on that. Uh-oh. Last thing to try here is gonna be Good old handmade inline spinner. We can cover some water and find some chasers. First cast here. There we go. There we go. Finally something. About to give up. But there we go. There had to be some of these back here somewhere. Simmer down, little guy. Got this guy on the dangle lure. I need to get my pliers here. Get them free delicately. And maybe not. Let's show him off here. Real quick, and then we're gonna get him loose and set him free. Oh wait, he's almost loose already. <laughs> Just took me flipping him around. Cool, cool. Alrighty. See you, little buddy. Last catch of the day. Woo! Alright, so we're gonna kind of go over what we caught stuff on today. Real quick like, since that's gonna be the last one. So right here, we got a Bobby Garland. A little bitty guy here. Uh, this is a itty bit don't know what the profile is but one of the itty bits this is itty bit slab hunter here black and chartreuse and on the caught one on the uh, micro beaver from creek life lures and also one on the helger mite from creek life lures we got one here on a z-man uh, shad for ice and i see it ended up getting one on the ticklers there z-man ticklers these are both some of their micro finesse stuff got one here on the generic helger mite then I also got one on the mule fishing donkey jig here, or donkey tail junior. And then last one there we just saw, got there on the dangle lure, the handmade inline spinner there. So a lot of these guys you can check out in the comments, or not the comments in the description below. Creek Life Lures, um, 
a lot of these guys creek life lures and dangle lures uh, you can check those out in the in the description check out the stuff they offer it's pretty good stuff especially for smaller fishing but we're gonna get back up here and see if we can catch another fish real quick i ain't got a lot of time but we're gonna try and see if we can i'll show it to you if we do <laughs> all right realist that was a great day kind of messing around catching a bunch of fish with different types of lures and baits today just felt like switching it up every time that was pretty awesome cool idea i dig it it was fun just kind of shows you too that you don't necessarily have to use a specific type of lure to catch fish you can just use all kind of stuff and catch all kind of stuff you just got to find them when they're hungry and find where they're at so hopefully you guys have a great day great night great morning whatever it is wherever you are hopefully it's awesome hopefully you guys get a chance to get on the reel real soon now we gotta go walk through the woods and try to get back to the car There we go, we got one on the crawfish. I know we could do it. Oh, and it's our old creek buddy. The long ear, if I can get him out of this weed. A little long ear there. There we go, add one more to the list. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> 